I started out as a saxophonist. And when I was 31, 32, I started to notice more and more trouble playing. So I sold all my saxophones and bought a piano. I first started noticing things when we would walk down a sidewalk together and he would say, boy, that, it really hurts to walk, doesn't it? He couldn't play saxophone anymore, couldn't keep it in tune, started getting having issues with his jaw, and then uh, all over body pain, and then starting to get those flu-like symptoms, and then his mobility went way down. We went to doctors off and on for, it really was about 10 years. Finally, an intern said, it sounds like Lyme disease. You say Lyme disease and people, oh, that's too bad, but they don't understand how severe it really can be. I'd be playing gigs and lose my place in the song or really even in the room. I got very frustrated and angry and embarrassed when I would get confused and couldn't do something that I was, I, I can do, play, you know, play music. Some friends and employers actually said you can't give up and it's easy to give up for yourself, but for other people, hopefully you find the reason to, to keep trying to get better. Having, you know, learned a new instrument and survived all of this and uh, all the financial and emotional, all that, but at 48 and now, you know, now I'm healthy. We're so lucky. We never thought we'd be on the other side of Lyme disease. And here we are. We're very grateful and we'll take it. This has been a TPT Partnerships co-production.